Brandon McCain, hashtag Niggy, hashtag Lions, hashtag Mitt Chocolate Chip. How do you feel about trading out of the second round and back up into the first round? Maybe for or snag B. John Robinson. I'm absolutely for it. I think that would be a phenomenal move. I have no problem having thirst three first round picks. I believe in getting premium talent just like Brad Holmes does. If you feel that there's a player slipping that can make your team dynamic, don't hesitate and jump up there and not get it. Just go do it. They did it last year with Jamison Williams. They nearly did it with Panay Sewell. So I believe in that. And we got a ton of draft picks. We do nine draft picks right now. So if you feel there is a guy that's going to come in here and make an immediate impact and help the Lions win the division as well as win a playoff game, go do it. Absolutely. And I, I, I agree and concur with that sentiment. So go do it. Raw Podcast, Hashtag Mike, and Ant-Man. What do you know about cornerback Julius Brents? He is the only cornerback to almost met with team's 6'3 hitter at cornerback. I don't know nothing about him. Have you heard about Brents? I know Brent. Brents is probably one of the most underappreciated talents in this draft. I think he's just steadily gone about his career at Kansas State, and he's he's been incredibly good. And I think he's just one of those who's been buried by a very deep corner class. I know there's been a lot more chatter about him recently. I can't tell you co- complete specifics about his game, or that he's been a really good player. So, yeah, I mean, he's just been very he's just been buried in a big big class. That's that's the thing with him. What are what are safeties do you like, and how do you cover tight ends? This is interesting. I think you can go and get like a Jordan battle in the third round. I don't necessarily believe you got to get anything early because we got good safeties here with Gardner Johnson, who's a safety. You can play nickel as well. Then you have, obviously, Kirby Joseph and Tracy Walker, who's coming back. So I don't necessarily believe you have to get one early. Maybe get a hybrid player. Jordan Battle, he last year would have been a second-round draft pick. He's probably going to fall the third round this year, maybe in the fourth round. That's something you can get. Is there another safety you think the Detroit Lions should look to potentially get? Um, In terms of my own preference, I I am a J.L. Skinner fan. I, I like... Been on it. I like having a team that has a safety that can knock the seven bells out of you when it hits you. And he is that sort of safety in the draft. When he hits you, you stay hit and you stay down. Uh, but he tore his peck, I think, during training. So I don't know what's going on with him. So it's a bit of a shame there. And for the Lions, the big one I love is Christopher Smith, the safety from Georgia. I just think he ticks every box here. Veteran leader. You know, he's been captain on that all-conquering Georgia defense there. I love the way he plays in coverage. I love the way he reads the game. His IQ is so high. I would love Christopher Smith here. More than anybody, I think. Even more, even a little bit more than Skinner. So, yeah, um, Christopher Smith is the one I would have in a heartbeat. And I hope he's in under consideration by them. I think he would suit the two guys we've got here very well. And you would build him up to be a leader in that secondary long term. Again, in two weeks, we're going to be at Soaring Eagle Casino live. We're going to have Herman Moore, obviously, and some former Lions players, Joyk Bell, Get some great players to talk about the NFL draft. Make sure you show up there. It's going to be a fun time. We're going to be live in front of a crowd. We're going to do giveaways. It's going to be a fun time. So, again, NFL draft, night one Thursday. We will be live streamed, but you can be in person at the casino hanging out with myself, Dosa Dion King, Herman Moore, Chrissy, and the whole freaking spiel and whole crew. Hashtag Mike, what do you guys think if we trade a fifth and a sixth for a like a couple of third round picks next year? So to give up draft picks now to get something next year, I'm fine with that. I don't know if that would happen in this year's draft, though. I think you would have to kind of get a situation where a team would want a certain player really quick for them to move up. Say if they wanted to get a player in the fifth round, they trade a fourth round pick or a third round pick and something else to move in. I think that would be a situation there. I don't know if it'd be more of two picks. But I know that myself is a little different here from Ant-Man. He wants to get the players. Now, I I have no problem acquiring capital for next year. But that's just different philosophies, and it's perfectly fine. We all have different 
philosophies there. Panacake Riley, hashtag Nikki, hashtag FGB. Do you think Kaminsky in a cast looked like Mega Man last season? I'm going to miss the club out there. First off, I wish he would have painted it blue. I think that would have been epic, hilarious, because obviously Lions are blue. He gets that the Mega Man hand on there. Never thought about it. Love the game. I will miss the club. Damn it, I wish you would have told me a little bit earlier. That would have been absolutely hilarious, for sure. Do you think he looked like Mega Man? <laughs> <laughs> he, he looked cool. I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say he looked cool with it on. He, he just looked... It just looked like he was going to absolutely beat the hell out of someone, didn't he? He's like, yeah, you get in my way, then you're staying down. So I enjoyed Thanks. it. Well, I, I'm just looking forward to seeing Kamish back here next year. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad he's re-signed and he's back. He, he earned a new deal here. And, he, you know, he's just part of this new breed of guys we've got here. They don't care where he's come from, what he's doing. He's just going to ball out for us here, play well. So I'm just looking forward to seeing Kamish next year. Trading up to three does not appeal to me. What is your thoughts from Man Bear Pig, the great name? I got to say that I'm fine with it, getting a talent that you want. If you feel Will Anderson is going to make your defense, in which I do, scary-ass good with two bookend edge rushers, I have no problem. Go get it. Like I, I, I want to have an elite talent base on this football team. That's what I want. I want to have players that are werewolves that will cut your head off. I, it's time for us to have names defensively. We got names on offense. It's time to have names defensively. I mean, would you give up a couple picks to make sure you got Aiden Hutchinson last year? Say you were, you were a couple down? I think a lot of people say, hell yeah, I would. And I think it's the same thing here with Will Anderson. I would do it. We're just not in the position to, to instantly grab him. But yeah, for sure. Hashtag smash the hole. Wish I could meet you all at the casino, but job comes first. Job always comes first. No doubt about it. Got to pay bills. Absolutely. For sure. Would you trade up Ant-Man to get a Will Anderson at three or another player? i trade up for Will Anderson or Anthony Richardson, and that is it. But, again, it all comes back to the ethos of which I'd rather have less players, but they were more talented because that's how Brad Holmes operates, and that's how our team's become so good. He's shown he can find depth in free agency on the waiver wire in undrafted free agency. So let him sort the depth outside of the draft. Get your blue chip talent that you're going to have long term at your franchise in the draft. So for those two, I, I would, yeah. Mr. Retro, hashtag Mike. Besides Robinson, what other offensive player could we get in the first round or early in the second round? I've talked about him as well because I love this man. I think he'd be a phenomenal in the offensive line, Osiris Torrance. I would love to have that big-bodied guard next to Panay Sewell and Frank Ragnow and just maul folks on the line of scrimmage. Right now, we have question marks at the guard. Can Big V stay healthy? He took a massive reduction in contract, and when I see that reduction in contract, to me, it feels like he's not the long-term solution at the guard. Obviously, Graham Glasgow is not the long-term solution. He is a one-hit fix right now. So if you wanted to get an offensive player, I'm going with the big ugly in Osiris Torrance. What about you, Ant-Man? Is there a different offensive player besides Bijan? Uh, there's two. The other would be Jameer Gibbs, another running back, because I just think that he's the best dual threat running back, and I think our offense needs one to operate with. And I love Bijan if he's the whole money, but... Jameer really gives it for us. The other guy I would, who is a complete and utter luxury, and my closure is for this one, because I don't want you to hear this. Um, I, I'd take Dalton Kincaid as well. I know you don't want a tight end, but I want a guy who's got a ceiling that's so high. He needs for... some milk. I told you to close your ears, Mike. I warned you. You, 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 you know, you, you went through that one when you didn't have to. So, but I know I would. I think Dalton Kincaid's going to be something special in this league. So, if I got loads of good defensive guys earlier on and I wanted to add something into my tight end unit, I'd, I'd do it. Um, so, I'm really sorry, Mike. But him or Jameer Gibbs, I'd, I'd really quite like. I, I, I mostly want defenders early on in this draft. I think my mock, my first four guys were defenders, and then my sixth. Yeah, I think well, I think so. all this is is on the fence that you're going to go a little bit more defense than offense, but we're not going all defense. That's ridiculous. They're going to get some offense there. If we got nine picks, I could see five being defense. 
one of those things where it's close. I think we all want to get this defense squared away. We're tired of it. We're tired of seeing the defense suck cheeks, so we need it to get better. Mofo Jimbo, hashtag draft. How come we haven't heard much of Nolan Smith to the Lions? Because I think a lot of it is the fact that we're sitting at pick six, and a lot of people believe the Lions going to take an edge there. That is why, and I don't think they're going to take two edges in this year's draft. We just don't got the amount of roster spots for that position. We just don't, because even right now we have a ton of edges, and that's why Ant-Man doesn't want to get an edge because we got a ton of edges. Totally get it, so you're not going to go and get two of these at the same position. You're probably going to get one at six, and that's it. Julian Aquara, he's got to be gone. He's, he's got to be gone if you take an edge there. And we reduced the amount of money for Charles Harris and Romeo. That means Julian's got to go. So that, that's the reason why. Record prediction for this year. I got the Lions getting 11 wins. 11 wins. I think 11 wins can be done. I think with the roster, with offense, top five, I still think it's going to be a killer offense. And this defense tanking a significant jump from 32 maybe to 15. The Lions should be able to get 11 wins. What is your thoughts on this one, Amman? I mean, I want to believe that we're going to do better the trouble is for me, I need to see the schedule first because that road schedule is brutal next year. And if you get three or four of them big trips early, because I mean, we're at the Cowboys, we're at the Ravens, we're at the Saints, we're at the Chiefs, we've got the Packers, we've got the Chargers. If, you know, if, if we get handed something pretty brutal early on and we can't get going, then that might just disrupt the whole season where if the schedule's a little bit more forgiving to start, allows us to get ahead of steam because we're, what, one and six? in the first month of the last two years, we don't traditionally start that well, then I, th I think we can get up to 11, 12 games. But yeah. I don't want us to get hammered by those hard road trips early. Otherwise, we might be in a bit of bother. Let me know in the comments section, what is your win total? Just put 11, 12, 1, 17. What do you think the Lions win total is going to be? I do have 11. And if you think, oh, I'm a homer, that is not the case. If you've watched my channel over the past four years, I am definitely not homer when it comes to win losses. Why is that? Because I would rather be correct than be a homer in all honesty. And so I, I just think that this roster is that damn good right now. No excuses not to to get some wins.